Well, hey there. Fancy being you here. Except I'm not actually here. This is past me. Present me is probably painting another one of these bad boys. Because this is part of a series of face paintings with a grayish color palette. Gray beige. And this is number four. Did I say that already? It's number four. Number four. And it's just a happy little dude, a happy little face based on one of my daily morning sketches out of my sketchbook. And it's a, a concept that I've been doing uh, over and over again. A face with a tree for a nose, a tree person. And he's got a little butterfly friend on his cheek. Anyway, my painting process is pretty straightforward. I paint the whole composition basically with a mid-tone just to kind of rough it out, get my shapes where they need to be on the canvas. And then I kind of go in from there and refine the shapes with a slightly darker tone, kind of do some line work. And then from there I basically sculpt with light. I start pushing my value structure with higher tones and, and add some highlights and keep adding them and adding them. It's, it's kind of like sculpture. I'm, I'm building form um, using the, the reflection of light on, off of the surface of, of these forms to, to make it look three-dimensional, if you will. And that's what I'm doing here. You can kind of see I'm getting some bark texture by adding some lighter tones onto that tree, which is this character's nose. And, you know, just trying to keep it loose. That's the name of the game. Loosey Goosey. This is painting after all. It's not a digital drawing. It's, it's not, um, it is an illustration because it's based on a drawing. Um, but since this medium is fluid and paint, I, I want it to be painterly, which I consider to be somewhat loose and fluid and like you can kind of see there's drips that are in the mouth there from my original roughing out of the overall shape and I just end up leaving those in because I think it kind of talks about the medium itself being a fluid medium using Lucas acrylic fluid paints and so that's just my personal preference and I think it looks pretty cool pretty juicy Look at me chewing that gum in fast forward. Looks like I'm a cow just slapping that cut around. Look at me, watch this. It's like me 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 me. We got some shrums down there in the corner. Just an ode to nature. Like a lot of my art is. I like organic shapes. Mostly because it allows me to be loosey goosey and free in the painting process. I'm still trying to make it look like something, right? I want it to look like a face, and I want that tongue to look like a tongue. And so there's no mistake that this is a, a face with eyes and a mouth and an expression, a real expression. Even though it's kind of cartoony and caricaturesque and not super realistic as far as the content and the subject matter, um, but it's realistic as far as some of the forms and the textures and how the light reflects and bounces off of these shapes. I want it to seem like this character could actually exist in the three-dimensional world that we inhabit, that we live in. So slap my signature on there and I think we're pretty much ready to call this a finished painting. You got to know when to stop. I don't know when it's complete. So let me know if you like this video and subscribe if you did like it. And if you didn't, why are you even here? Beat it.